we're back for another video. Today we'll be doing a My Favorite Things video. So you guys can get to know us a little bit better. So let's get right to the video. I have a list of things to ask the both of us and we'll answer all of them the best we can. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing is my favorite color. So my favorite color is pink. Mine is pink as well, but I also like green and orange. I also like blue and green. So that's it for color. Favorite flower. My favorite flower is a carnation. I like carnations too, which is, sounds a little bit weird, but I like that they last long and they're still a pretty, de and pretty and delicate flower. Uh, funny story is my aunt is getting married and when she went to the flower shop, they put carnations in her arrangement for herself and she was not very happy. She thinks that carnations are funeral flowers, which to me, I feel like roses are more funeral flowers. I don't know. I feel like roses are just too pretty and the perfect for funerals. So, yeah. yeah, I like carnations. They're everyday flowers. You can have them around all the time. I buy them sometimes. They're just pretty. Yeah. Okay, next is favorite scent. Ooh, that's a hard one, because I have a bunch of ones. Uh, so I'm going to go simple. I like to go simple, so uh, vanilla. That's Vanilla is very simple. I like vanilla too, but my absolute favorite scent is Hollister's Crescent Bay. I absolutely love it. I have their body wash and their body spray. I love that scent. Crescent Bay, that's the one I like. I love that too. Next is your favorite candy. <laughs> my favorite candy. I know mine. Mine is sour watermelon slices. I love absolutely oh, those love are those. good. Yeah, those are my favorite candy. That's really good. The I, they're the same pretty much. Wow, that's just awkward. We're way too similar. This is, yeah. Okay, how about your favorite chocolate? My favorite favorite chocolate is M and M's. What kind of M and M's? Regular. Okay, my favorite chocolate is M&M's and Hershey's cookies and cream chocolate. Oh, those I like are that good too. too. I like plain M&M's. If you've ever been to New York, I like fell in love in the M&M store. I've been there twice and I just couldn't get out of there. I love that store. I love all the different colors. I came home each time with a giant bag of them. So I know when next time I'll be in New York, I will be back there. I think they have one in Vegas too. I've never been to Vegas, but. New York has a great one. Yeah, I mean, they're so good. They're just so tasty. They are. <laughs> okay, next is your favorite drink. Uh, my favorite drink. Wow. I like, I'm not really a pop girl, but if I'm drinking pop, I like Coca-Cola. If I'm drinking pop, yeah, Coca-Cola. That's mine. Otherwise, I'm pretty simple. I like water. Yeah, water and Coca-Cola. Like when I was younger, I hated water, but now I love it. I can't drink enough water. I drink probably tons of it every day. Yeah, that's really. I'm good. not. The, what I do hate. What I do hate is plain milk. I cannot stand the taste of milk. I if I'm hate gonna drink milk. milk, I have to have chocolate milk. I have to have it with something. I hate milk. I will not just drink it. You'll never see me drink up a straight glass of white milk. Unless I'm I... dipping cookies in it. <laughs> That's the only time. I hate milk. Ugh. And I've tried all different kinds of milk because some people are like, well, how about you try almond milk or other milks? And it's like, those are even worse. I actually, funny story with almond milk is I didn't know you're not supposed to put it in cereal. And five seconds later, my cereal was a big thing of mush. It was just gross. <laughs> yeah. Your favorite drink? Water. Coke. Coke for pop. What about juice? Hey, juices. What? What kind of juice do you like? Oh, I like lemonade. That's like one of my lemonade. favorites. Lemonade. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Lemonade, duh. I love them lemonade. I make it all the time, too. From lemonade, scratch. lemonade, Coke, and water. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, your favorite fruit. I know mine. Watermelon. Watermelon. Love watermelon. I can't eat it in the summer. I do too. At uh, our, we have local 
yellow watermelon and orange watermelon as well as red watermelon. I uh, I like them all. I love I watermelon. I love watermelon. Any kind. <laughs> Just I love them. I like cantaloupe too. I like strawberries. I like raspberries. I like blueberries. I'm a berry person. And I like watermelon. I love watermelon. Yeah. Summertime, I, I just eat it all the time. Watermelon is like my favorite right now. It's summertime, so we like eat it all the time. I like nectarines as well. I eat those all year round. Oh, peaches, nectarines, all those. I love them. Yeah. Up in Niagara Falls, my uncle gets white flesh and yellow flesh peaches. They're so good. Yeah. I can't wait to have some of those. We have some in our house right now from Niagara Falls. They're so good. Yeah. Wish you all could try them. They're the best. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could just like throw them at the throw camera. Throw them through the camera. Yeah. Okay, your favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant, Subway. Yeah, she loves Subway. I like Subway too. That's my favorite fast food place. Yeah, favorite fast food place. But my favorite restaurant is the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I'm cheese so happy that one opened near us because otherwise I had to go all the way to Florida. Like we go to Florida, so we always go to Naples to the Cheesecake Factory there. It's awesome there. But now che we have one right near us, so that's great. I, I love Cheesecake Factory too. Like the only thing is we're Canadian and they don't have any in Canada. So that sucks for us. <laughs> so we have to cross the border to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Well, she went for the first time on my birthday. I do. How'd you like it? That was really good. I had the lemon meringue cheesecake. It was awesome. Okay. You guys, if you get the Oreo cheesecake, you're gonna like die. <laughs> it's <Really>? so rich. <laughs> um, like I ate two bites and I was like, done. Yeah, they have, the food there is so good. You fill up on the food and then you have to have rich cheesecake. It's See, like, we had a Caesar salad. That was just oh, the Caesar salad. <laughs> uh, I will never order another Caesar salad, at least so from that right. one because. It was too they garlicky. They put way too much garlic, like, ugh. And we were, all of us were even trying it, because... And it was just too strong. I couldn't eat it. I love Caesar salad, but I couldn't eat it. We okay, your favorite animal. My favorite animal. My favorite animal. Uh, if you want to do a mammal, it's dolphins. Duh. And my favorite animal is, an ac is a cat. My favorite animal is dogs. I have one over there. She's a sweetheart. White she's Maltese, sleeping. that's my dog. Oh my gosh, she's adorable, I love her. She's sleeping right now, I think. Love all dogs. I actually, when I was little, I loved dogs and then some dog almost ate, bit me and then I was scared of big dogs. I only liked little dogs, but now I don't mind any of them. See, I <laughs> like dogs I was tortured too. when I was a little one over a big dog almost biting me, so. Sorry I like that. I like cats, dogs, and dolphins. Uh, dogs, I actually, I actually walk a dog, so, yeah. Next is your favorite book. My favorite book, what is my favorite book? Dolphins at Daybreak by Mary Pope Osborne, and that's my favorite author. And that's a Magic Treehouse book. And that's a Magic Treehouse book. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a tough one. Um, my favorite book. My snowman had olive eyes, I think. Because I love, I, I need to reread that book. I read it like four times when I was little. I don't know, that's more of a kitty book, so let's pick something more adultish. Yeah. Um, huh, let me think. Um, I don't have a favorite book. I like lots of different books. I like more like romance type books. So. Um, My Sister's Keeper was a good book. I read that one. Um, it was sad. But I'm definitely a read the book before seeing the movie girl and the books are so much better. Always. Always. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite book. I read all kinds of books. Well, I, I love reading. Favorite author. Another thing, I don't really have. Okay, what's your favorite author? Mary Pope Osborne. Mary Pope Osborne's first. Mine. I don't know. I find this very difficult. I like. 
I'm trying to remember this. Oh, Sarah Dessen. I liked her books. She's a pretty good author. I should start reading Nicholas Sparks books because I love those movies, but I have yet to buy one. I bought one actually, and I lent it to somebody, and I have yet to get it back, so I'm pretty frustrated about that all the time. I need to have like a sign out sheet, seriously, because people take things, and then it's like, I thought I gave it to you. No, I gave it back, and then I must have gave it to somebody else. I don't remember. <laughs> so I need to have a sign out sheet, but. I need to start reading Nicholas Sparks. I think I'll really like his books because I enjoy the movies. Next up is your favorite magazine. My favorite magazines are those American Girl ones. My favorite magazine is anything to do with baking. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll buy, I have magazines that are strictly like have all kinds of different cakes in them. I love buying those. Each Easter, I actually make a different cake or cupcake each year. That's some kind of a tradition I have. So I need ideas for that. So I don't know. What else? I like making all kinds of different desserts for all kinds of holidays. So that's um, always helpful. And we'll also, and when we do that stuff, we'll like post it. Right. Yes, I'll be posting my different cakes and stuff every year now. Since I have this channel, give you ideas as well. Okay, next is your favorite place. My favorite place um, to go to. Huh. Wow, it's hard. My favorite place, place to go is Fort Myers, Florida. My grandma has a place there, and I love going to spend a week in the winter during my break from school. And yeah, I love the shopping, I love the sun, I love the pools, I love the beach. I love just being away for a week. But then seeing my grandma, because she's gone all winter, she's a snowbird, so she doesn't even spend Christmas, so I don't see her from like American Thanksgiving to Easter. Uh, so my favorite place to go to is Manitoulin Island. Are you going to explain what that is and where that is? Yeah, okay, so that is, um, where my uncle and aunt live. Well, not live, but they like. Okay, okay start, start it. over. Okay, so my favorite place to go to is to Manitoulin Island, and my uncle and aunt own a cottage there. So it's really beautiful there because they have the lake, and you get to do stuff there. <laughs> The uh, Manitoulin Island is located in northern Ontario, in Canada, and there's lots to do there. There's hiking, there's waterfalls, there's a very nice waterfall, Bridal Veil. Vale. We may be going this year, so, well, I might be going, she's going. Yeah, I'm definitely I might going. be going. So if I do, I'll, we'll film a lot and yeah, we'll, we'll post a video all about Manitoulin. And we'll even do our like road trip type thing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, next. next is a place you'd like to visit. A place that I would love to visit is New York. The you have store? What else in New York? Uh, in New York, uh, I would also like to visit the <laughs> American Girl store there. There's not an American Girl store there. There is in New York, not New York City. Actually, yes, it is. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never seen it. I've been to New York. Okay. So, they have a. I liked visiting the Statue of Liberty. I liked going on the ferry. I liked the Brooklyn Bridge. is amazing. I don't know. There's so much to do. This is a place that you would like to go to. Yeah, I'm talking for you. Oh. There's so much for her to do. I've been. She's wants to go. So we, now we have a deal that on her, for her 16th <laughs> birthday, during when she turned 16, because that was the first time I went, that I'll take her. We'll go together. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Yeah, so what's yours? Place I want to visit most in the world <laughs> is, I want to 
go to I want to explore France. I've been to Paris and that was it. We were in Paris, but we didn't even get to do everything I wanted to do. I went with my school choir and I was very disappointed, we'll put it that way, with what we got to do. I wanted to go see Sacred Heart Church. It's on a bit of a hill in Paris. It overlooks the whole city. I wanted to see She's that. She's been all around Europe. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed with that. I've been to Italy, saw all of Italy saw some of Austria, some of Germany, but definitely I want to go back to uh, France. So we went to Paris and we went to Vemi Ridge, but I'd like to go to Nice and I'd like to go back to Paris, I'd like to go to Versailles, I'd like to tour all around France. And the other place I'd like to go if I went to Paris is I'd cross the channel and go to England, London specifically. I really want to go to those two places. But yeah, I've traveled all over Canada almost and the US mostly. So I wanna, yeah, I'm a very lucky person. I've got to travel a lot. Okay, things I collect. What are some things you collect? The things I collect. Hmm. I collect coins, any special oh. coins, American, Canadian, both of them. I'm going over to the States all the time, so. I have lots of them. I actually have booklets for American coins and not Canadian coins. That's Funny, cool. my uncle refuses to give me a booklet from the Canadian Olympic ones. He says he has one for me, but never remembers to bring it. So. Oh, I don't. If you're watching, bring me my book. <laughs> um, what else? I collect uh, shells. I go to Florida and I always pick up shells. Always, they're all different. We actually have. The thing of shells in our bathroom, the big container. The things I collect are rocks. Yeah, because they're just fun to collect. I found this one really, really shiny one. I, I found a heart stone once, and then I don't know what happened to it. I wish I still had it. And my dog keeps barking. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> How I like to relax. Um... Uh, how I like to relax. I like to put on like a music, like really fun music. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing that I do. I like to read and I like to put music on. Read it. And I like to, I don't know, I like to just kind of calm down, lay down, or sit down and yeah. kind of just like, like brace that. myself. Like yeah. Just to yeah, reading. I like to read too. That's when I'm stressed. Sure that. I like to read. Yeah, reading uh, and putting on music. And I like showering when I'm stressed. I like just the warm water and just like breathing. Yeah. So just kind of normal things that people do to relax. Uh, what's your favorite snack? Favorite snack. Hmm. My favorite thing to snack on is probably pretzels. I love pretzels. Oh, that's a good one. I, yeah, sticks, goldfish, found goldfish pretzels, those are good. I like sticks, I like anyway. What I don't really like is soft pretzels, though. I like Auntie Anne's, but, like, I couldn't eat them all the time. I actually got sick on them before when I was little. I didn't like them for a long time. I had, like, a taste aversion there going on with that. But, yeah, I eat them now, but not very often. I like actual hard pretzels uh, better. I like uh, chocolate-covered pretzels and yogurt-covered pretzels, too. Those are good, too. So, I love cheese popcorn. It's, like, the best thing. The I like movie popcorn, too. Like, if I'm going to the movies, I always have to get popcorn. Yeah, there's no, there's no dip. Yeah. I love popcorn from the movies. Favorite, what's your favorite TV show? TV show. Oh, great. <laughs> I like Dancing with the Stars. Big fan of that. I like The Bachelor, Bachelorette. I like Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. That's my main ones like I watch every week on TV if I can but yeah I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm going through my days I like the new show 
Repeat after me. I think that one's hilarious. And I like Family Feud. It's always on. Uh, so my... What are some of your favorite TV shows now? So my two favorite TV shows are Dancing with the Stars and The Next Step. Why do you like Dancing with the Stars? Dancing with the Stars because I just love to watch dancing. I don't know why. I, just... I like learning, I like watching the dancing. I like learning about the people's lives. I like seeing like how they go about yeah, and that's all their like... struggles and how each week goes. I don't know. I love that. That's just... I, I, I feel like now I know so many celebrities from Dancing with the Stars. It's yeah. funny because it'll be like, oh, this person, like even Hope Solo, she's on the TV for the soccer. And I'm like, she was on Dancing with the Stars. I know. So it's just it's like just you kind like... of connect Dancing with the Stars with a lot of these people. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Great. Uh, to think of something. My favorite movie, I like romantic comedies. Those are my favorite. It's the genre I like. So anything funny with romance, I love that. I, my favorite are the Nicholas Sparks ones, like I said before in the book section. But yeah, I love those movies. I can't get enough of them. The Longest Ride that just came out, that's I think my far my favorite. I like The Notebook as well walk to remember all of them. I like all of the ones I've seen. I've only not seen one or two of them, but all of them. I'm in love with them all. I can watch them over and over and over. Titanic is another one. I love that movie. I can watch it over and over and over. I love Christmas specials. Anything Christmas, I love it. So Christmas shows and romantic comedies, those are my favorite. Okay, so I, for the genre, I love romance and so for the genres, I love romance and for a movie, I love Beauty and the Beast. That's like my favorite movie. That would be my favorite Disney movie. Yeah. If I had to choose a Disney movie, always Beauty and the Beast. I actually, every year, I watch the Christmas one at Christmas. Every year. I won't miss the year. I love it. Beauty and the Beast, my favorite. When we went to Disney, we actually got to go to Disney together last year. Tell this year. In, in January. December, last year for Christmas. From December 27th to the 2nd, we were able to go to Disney. It was a great vacation. Yeah, I couldn't wait to go. We actually met her twice. I <laughs> in met the same anyone. day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we met her twice in the same day. Yeah. And Epcot. It was a great day. And then we got to meet the Beast. We got to go to the new restaurant, Be Our Guest. I was in love I there. I love that. I couldn't believe how much. Oh my god. I was just going crazy there. And then they have even on the menu things from the movie, like for dessert, they have something called the Grey Stuff. And I totally ordered that because I had to because I, was, I, I laughed so hard when the waitress told us that and my parents go, What's the, what's that mean? Like, what is that? And I'm like, it's from the movie. It's the try the gray stuff. It's delicious. And they're like, what? And the waitress is like laughing and I'm laughing and my parents are just like, huh? Yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, but the ball, we sat in the ballroom. It was beautiful. We got to meet the beast after. Your favorite music genre? My favorite music is country music. I love it. I yeah, um, country music, I have it playing on the computer all the time. Right now it's off because I wanted to shoot, we wanted to shoot this video, so. But it's always on if I'm home alone, especially because my parents don't like country music. <laughs> they laugh That's at me. Really sad. They laugh at me. If I could go to the CMA Festival in Nashville, I'd be so happy. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be so much fun. My favorite music genre is country too. Come on, it's like so much fun. What's your favorite song? Okay, for my favorite songs, I will do my favorite singers in there too because it makes sense. Taylor Swift, I loved her when she was country. Absolutely loved her, listened to all her songs. I was very obsessed. I've been to four of her concerts now. I just went to the 1989 one as well. I like Back to December. 
I like so many of her songs with her old ones. Back to December, I could say even mean. I like Blank Space and Blah, Wonderland and Bad Blood from the new one. Um, Lucy Hale. I love all her songs, but my absolute favorite, Loved. I just love that song. We'll see, maybe I'll put some of these songs in the background. Um, I like Luke Bryan's I See You and Kick the Dust Up. Um, I think that's basically it. I like right now Andy Grammer's Honey I'm Good. That's one of my favorite songs right now. And that has a country twang to it too. Yeah. So, yeah, those are my favorite songs and some singers. And I, I really like Lucy Hale and Taylor Swift. I still like her. I won't say I won't. I don't. I do. So. Lucy Hale loved those. That's like our favorite songs. We like jam it up. Jam it up or turn it up. <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> we turn it up. So, yeah. Um, Taylor Swift, Wonderland, Blank Space, Style, and I've started to like Bad Blood. Like a I don't know. I don't like the story behind it that I've read. Yeah, the story is just. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but. Yeah, but I kind of like it. Uh, Honey, I'm Good by Andy Gerber. Luke Bryan, I See You. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I was excited this year for my birthday. I got cowboy boots. I was so excited for them. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, I love them. So the next question is, what's your favorite sport and team? Okay, my favorite sport to play, soccer. I loved soccer. I, I played it for too many years to count. <laughs> probably a decade, probably I played in it, like team teams. I liked playing. The reason why I quit, I'll tell you this story, is my coach, the last year I played, was pretty mean. I was a midfielder all my life. I played midfield, except when I was really little. It was like playing around all the positions. But I always played midfield. When we got to that stage, oh, for years I played midfield. Wing, I was never really a center, but wing, midfield. and. The last year I played, the coach just, I don't know, he made me go play defense. I hated playing defense. And the girl that played defense behind, or that, you know, like for a while we played, I was up, she was behind me, and she had asthma, and he wanted her to play midfield. So we'd switch, and he'd get mad, <laughs> but I don't know. And then the one day he wasn't there, his son was our assistant coach, so he was there, and he put me on midfield. I scored two goals that game. I was happy the rest of the season I couldn't score because he wouldn't even let me play up. Ugh, I just, I couldn't handle it. So I uh. quit. I could not handle having another coach like him. As for team, I do find soccer pretty boring to watch, but my favorite sport to watch is hockey. I'm a hockey girl, Canadian. <laughs> so my favorite team is the Detroit Red Wings, but during the playoffs I went for Chicago the whole time because Detroit got eliminated first round and since they didn't play Detroit the first round, I was going for Chicago the entire time. So my, so my favorite sport is soccer and I play it and I still play it. Oh, yeah. And my favorite team, hockey, again, is Detroit Red Wings. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions for us, leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. Hello. Do, do, do. And we'll be sure to check that out. And we may be doing another one of these later on yeah. to update and answer any more questions you have. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.